unicorns and welcome back to another video just in case you are new my name is Natalie and this is my cafecito y pan dulce YouTube channel where we have coffee talks about anything and everything today's video isn't exactly a coffee talk per se but it is a video that I'm very excited to get out here for you guys because I've been talking about it for a really long time and I missed last seasons video of the day I'm going to be showing you guys my teacher capsule wardrobe in case you don't know what a capsule wardrobe is it's like you have a very small amount of things in your wardrobe in your closet for a season I consider it the 333 challenge which means which means you have 33 things in your closet for every three months and you can switch it out every three months but if you want more information on why I started doing this, I have a video that talks about why I started my capsule wardrobe and it goes a little more into detail. But for today, I'm just showing you guys what's in my teacher capsule wardrobe. So let's very quickly get into this because it is 1 in the morning and I am very tired. I'm packing for my youth group retreat, which I didn't think I was going to vlog for, but now I'm like second guessing whether I want to vlog for it or not. I guess first we'll start with tops. This one, I'm not sure if I've ever shown it or talked about it. This it was from Banana Republic. It was the Banana Republic outlet. It's a petite, extra small. Not very much to it, except that it's pink and cute. Then I have this shirt, which doesn't have the brand on it, but I found it at Goodwill. It's just a white button-up, but what I liked about it, first of all, was that it was short sleeve, so I can layer it. And second, I liked that it had this little ruffle going down, which it just adds a little bit more class to it. As you can tell, I haven't worn it yet. I just started my student teaching, so I haven't worn not even half of this stuff. Um, and the next top is this one, which is actually a guy's top that is from Zara in a size medium. I plan on rolling up the sleeves to make it look a little bit more feminine, and it's a basic striped shirt that I can layer. I've been wanting one, so I was very happy that I found this one at Goodwill. Then there's this one, which is this little, like, polka dot. If I keep looking at the viewfinder and not at the camera, it's because I'm just making sure everything's in focus. This one is from the brand 990, and it is a size small. This was actually a gift from my tia Lili to my mom, but my mom let me use it since I needed a little bit more professional clothing. And this is a button-up, and since it's black and white, it matches with everything. And plus, it has these puffy sleeves, which are cute. Next, I have an inside-out... <laughs> basic forever 21 black tee that uh, those are deodorant stains but I promise they're not on the other side and this one I've had for a really long time I just figured a basic black tee would go a really long way with matching it with different bottoms and then I have this gingham top I think that's the pattern that they're calling it now which is actually on my insta story highlights in mini hauls that's the category <laughs> And I just have to use a safety pin for this one. As you can see, I've already used it, and it already has a safety pin in there. And it's just three-quarter length sleeve. And since, again, since it's black and white, it matches with everything. It's a very big theme in my closet. I like to make sure everything matches with everything because it stretches your capsule wardrobe so much more. Then I have this white tee here, which, yes, has a few little manchas on them, but... That's okay, people don't really notice it, and I really like this shirt. It is the brand Laura Scott. It's in a size large, and it's really long too, but I can tuck it into stuff, or I can wear it out on top of like layering with dresses. And I'm pretty sure this has been in all of my capsule wardrobes so far, but that's okay. Okay, so now moving on to like blazer type of thing. The first thing I have is of course a jean jacket. I think every teacher needs a jean jacket in their wardrobe because it helps them layer it with dresses or with different tops. It's an essential blazer, I would say. Next, like, official blazer is this one, which is from Windsor, and this was a gift from my tia Lily, and I'm very 
very excited that I finally get to use it because I was waiting for it to be more like professional wardrobe or for me to need a more professional wardrobe to use it. And then something I just bought today is this little cardigan because I just finished my first week of student teaching and I realized it would probably be very smart to have a shirt or a shirt, a cardigan that I can use for every single outfit that can help me just stay warm in the class because my mentor teacher really likes to turn up down the AC so that it's really cold in there. We'll turn it up I guess. So this one I bought at Burlington today. It's the brand Pink Rose and it's a size medium. And now dresses. I have three dresses only and these dresses um, I base off of me being able to layer them with different things and they're very neutral. <laughs> Uh, so I have this beige dress that actually looks like one of those coats, like a trench coat, but it's a dress. And I found it at Goodwill. It's from the brand Brooks Brother. It's actually in a size 10, but since it cinches at the waist, it fits. And what I'm thinking is I can wear it alone. I can layer it with different shirts on top. Like I could wear this shirt on top, or I could wear the white shirt on top, or I could wear a blazer or a jean jacket. There's so many. Next, I have this black dress which I found at a thrift store that I used to talk a lot about and I still, to now this day, love it and I recommend it to everyone that lives in the same area as me. It's in the town of Hastings. If you live in Grand Rapids, I think it's totally worth the commute too. The name of the store is Previously Pink. This dress, however, is the brand Kenneth Cole and it's in a size 6. It, again, is like that trench coat kind of vibe that you can like wrap this around and tie it in the back or tie it in the front. And again, you can layer it. And the last dress is this dress, which I wear to death because I love the color of it. And I just love that I can do so many different things with it. It is from Banana Republic. It is in a size 2. I bought it last year. Okay, so now for bottoms. So first let's start with something that's not exactly a bottom, but kind of a bottom. This is a jumpsuit. Oh, this camera does not do it justice, but it is so cute. I'll insert a picture of the model wearing it. And this is from the store... Scute and Piper. I think it's an online boutique ran by a husband and wife. And it's also where I bought the only shoes in my capsule wardrobe, which I'll show you in a little bit. But this is specifically the brand Polygram in a size small. And I bought this because, first of all, it has pockets. And second of all, I can put any shirt underneath this and it looks dressy. Pants I have, they look a little wrinkly because I wore them. And I like to wear my things at least twice before I wash them, you know, to conserve water, all that. But <laughs> I think I'm ratchet. That's fine. These are from Loft. They are size petite, and they are the original ankle pants. Another pair of dressy pants are these, which are from Banana Republic. They are in a size 2. I already wore them. I love them. So excited to wear them more than once. Then I have these which are just white dressy pants I know risky but they're cute and they match with anything these are from Talbots they're the brand Talbots but I bought them at Goodwill this skirt which is this beautiful burnt orange again matches with a ton of colors which as you can tell that's that's something that's really important when you're building your capsule wardrobe, let me just say, because then you can stretch your outfits and like wear so many different combinations, and I love it. And I will also, just wanted to quickly mention, be starting a new Insta Highlights category on my Insta, Insta Stories, on my Instagram, where I show you guys just like my OOTDs and different ways that I put the outfits together. And this one is from a, we found that was Forever 21, but it was like all stuff that were $10 and under. And I don't know the exact brand, but love this skirt. Then another OG skirt that just keeps coming back to the capsule wardrobes. Again, this is from that same Forever 21 store that was $10 and under. So I don't think you'd be able to find it, but you can find these anywhere. And I have this skirt, which is high-waisted, has a little bit of a cut in the back. And this one I found at Goodwill. Again, it's wrinkly because it's air drying. Again, matches with everything. I have more like casual pants that I would wear on like casual Fridays when I also pair it with like the, one of the school t-shirts. And 
I have these jeans which are wrinkly because they are air dry again. These are from Express. They are the style super soft legging mid-rise. The wash of denim I think is a little bit more professional which is what I try to stick with because I'm not trying to look like a student. Then I have these which are from PacSun. They're high rise wide leg and I just hemmed them at the bottom so that they looked a little bit more professional because they used to have a raw hem. And last but certainly not least, my teacher shoes. I call them my teacher shoes. They're little clogs. They're from that same online boutique store called Piper and Scoot. They are clogs and they're the style or brand Mia. They're made in Sweden. Super comfy. They add a little bit of height to me, but they match with everything because they're black and I'm super excited to c keep breaking them in. Okay, so that concludes the teacher capsule wardrobe. Again, it might not equate to 33 items because I have a few other items that aren't included in my teacher capsule wardrobe that are included in my whole capsule wardrobe. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you're a teacher out there, thank you for everything that you do. I'm not a teacher quite yet. Right now I'm finishing my student teaching, so I'm super excited to be able to be a teacher. But again, thank you for everything that you guys do and for taking in students like me that are trying to learn how to be a teacher. Um, I also wanted to mention that it this doesn't include my accessories because I'm a really big earrings person, so that's how I kind of like change up an outfit once in a while too. Also, can we please appreciate my Goncha earrings that I'm wearing right now? I'll leave where I got them from down below. Just in case you're interested. Okay, and I will see you guys next time. I love you guys so much, but remember, God loves you more. Bye!